I really don't know why I sung that. It's not really appropriate in it. Like, Eurovision's over. Yeah, full on over. Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel, everybody. If you guys are new here, my name is Nush, and I make reactions here on YouTube, and I'm very far away. Let's get a bit close, that's who, yeah. And today we are going to be continuing on my post Eurovision depression series that I've been doing over here where I've been looking at this year's Eurovision artists, their new music and also some of their past music. We've been looking at Angelina Mango's new album, Marina Sati's, even La Daniva had a song come out and another artist that I have been looking at that I am, I am literally shaking myself why I haven't done this sooner is Joost, who of course represented Netherlands in this year's contest. And if you haven't seen my previous reactions to those, I will link the playlist above here, or here, not too sure which direction it's gonna be, where you can watch all of those. I know, I'm sorry that I haven't checked out his stuff sooner, but last night, he just dropped a brand new song. Now it is called Luft Balloon, and the song means air balloon. 99 Luft Balloon song, no? You know that song? I don't know, is this like some kind of cover? I'm not too sure. I would click on the one that was announced last night, but apparently the lyrics are really important in this. I found it. Okay, fine, we have English subs. We're all good in the hood. So without further ado, why don't we dive on in and see what Luft Balloon is all about. But before we do so, please do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel over here. That is very important. For licking that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you'd like to follow me over on Instagram or TikTok, it is Nush. One oh one. Let us go. Okay, clicking play. This <laughs> the imagery. That's something, isn't it? Okay, nostalgic melody already. Yes, he is speaking some truth here. I knew it was coming. Oh, that sample, I'm here for you. What is that? I know that it, it's a very classic house sample right there. 54 seconds in and he's already freaking got me. Let's be honest, has any one of his songs not done that? No, because he brings that nostalgia dance beat that I absolutely always love. And I feel like I'm always saying that, but that is just the vibe of me, I think. Like, I just, I need that kind of music in my life to be happy. He's speaking some like quite deep thoughts and meanings about his life. It's like he's hitting back at his haters with the beat. If that makes any sense, probably not. Anyway, let's continue, cause I'm rambling. <laughs> it doesn't sound as good as in, in English though, does it? <laughs> Ooh! Yeah, honestly, he, uh, can I speak it enough? He's speaking truth. Live your freaking life. Don't be depressed. Move on. There's shit people in the world. It's gonna happen. There's nothing you can do about it. So just live your life and have a party. That is literally my motto. <laughs> That's probably why I like his music so much. <laughs> Oh my god. God, how like it's like when oh once again with the renegade master. Jeez, no, stop doing that. Okay, so as I was about to upload, he just released 
the music video. So I think we should still check this one out now because I can't not see it. But at least we got the lyrics in there because I think that was pretty important from that. Okay, let's go for round two here. I'm dead, this is very Sims, isn't it? Speaking of nostalgia. <laughs> the windmills. <laughs> oh gosh, he loves a bit of gore. Here comes the beat. Bow, bow. It's even better the second time, to be honest. Here it comes. Yeah, oi! He's getting dragged through the rave. Honestly, this is like a time warp. We're going back seriously like 20 years. More than that, maybe, actually. It's 2024, 20, 25 years, something like that. And I love how he does that. He is wanting us to go back to those happy times because they were way better, let's be honest, even though I was like, what, five years old? Had some of the best music in that, that decade, I think. Oh, there's like, what's the word? Industrial sounds, I love it. I love balloon. <laughs> this is so good though. It's very, very creative. And from an artistic perspective, he always ticks those boxes. Does he not? Anyway, I think I have the same opinions and thoughts after I listen to the lyric video. So let us go back to past Nash. <laughs> There's a lot of going back to the past today, okay? <laughs> when we saw um, Euro Papa, that song was a really good example of that. It's not just a good dance track. It also has a lot of sentiment behind it like I just said. He's a very clever artist for doing that because a lot of people don't just listen to music for the danceability of it. I mean, I definitely do, but you know, you're gonna get a lot more people interested when you actually have a lot of meaning behind your song. It's a very relatable as well, obviously, to a lot of people. With a lot of dance music for me, it's my escape and it's just really nice to have him represent that. Yost is definitely bringing back a GABA revival. I can definitely see that. I mean, for me, I've always been interested in this music and enjoyed this kind of music, but he's definitely bringing this to the mainstream, which is great because we have this resurgence of the 90s already happening, slash happened. So he's come at a very perfect timing, I think, for him to do well with it. What's even better is this is very true to Dutch culture from the past and even present and showing the whole world that now. I just hope that more people are looking at his stuff worldwide as well because he definitely deserves it, especially after everything that happened to Eurovision. He needs that and I just, I can't wait to see him in concert. I, I really cannot. I, I mean, I haven't got any tickets yet. I don't even know if he's touring, but it will happen at some point. It has to. Yeah, I mean, I absolutely love that. I will be adding that onto my Yoast playlist for sure. I hope there's more music coming from him. I mean, we haven't really had anything new since Euro Papa, since this, obviously. So maybe there's a new album pending. I know I've got other songs to check out of his, like Lowlands, a 2023. It's in the works, it's coming, and a couple more of his stuff. So please stay tuned for that. And also let me know down below if there's another song of his that you want me to check out. But of course, that was just what I thought. I wanna know what you thought of your song, Luft Balloon, down in the comment section below. I'm gonna go and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.